Shalom. <coughs> Back again with this truth. I'd like to say, Rakhfar Yahweh by Shemeshai. Double honor to the elders. Apostle of Great Mostar. Blessings. Sal blessings and salutations to the elect worldwide. You know. Pushing this truth and sincerity, Brakfa Yahab by Shemisha, Mashim Kakadash, you know, we give always give all praise to Yahab by Shemisha. Uh, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you are the biblical Israelites, the true Israelites, the seed of Jacob, and your God, his name is Yahawah, and the son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly knows as Jesus Christ, but according to the Bible, he's a so called black man, man. Yep, so-called black man. White woolly hair and dark skin. As of burnt brass. But anyways, to get back in this truth. As you can see the title here. Well, it, it was not it was not necessary this title. But um, what was said in the video was a different topic. Uh, I believe concerning um of what can we do to um, change the situation we are in in this is this society we know as the western society you know european society the society that's uh, controlled by the elites esau the so-called white man the devil the wicked one yeah and what Corey was saying, Corey Holcomb, a comedian, but he is quite smart, you know. You know, obviously he, obviously he doesn't have the truth and stuff like that, but he acknowledges that the environment that he's in, and he knows that the so-called Caucasians are in power. And a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people are oblivious to that. A lot, a lot of people are scared to admit that. But he's not scared to admit, which is good. And even though the woman next to him with the the mixed race one with the afro as you can see next by by his left she even agreed agreed to that as well man. so you know you got a lot of white i mean a lot of black women they love east or the so-called white women so much you know you know they don't want to see him die and shit like that they don't want to see black so-called black men and latino men rise up against Esau. you know which we ain't gonna do that not on no carnal level, not on no physical level, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai by spiritual intervention, because we wait upon the Lord and we don't advocate no violence to go out there. We just teach the word and stuff like that, you know, teach the scriptures. The, scripture, the Lord said, wait upon me. So we wait for the prophecies to play out. Mark of the Beast, World War Three, martial law, race riots, race wars, uproars of the people and etc, etc. But... Before I get into scriptures, I'm just going to make mention of what he said, Corey Holcomb. He was more roughly paraphrasing. You can watch the video yourself. I believe it was like the 25th minute or something like that. And he was basically saying, look, man, we are living in, in a society where it's run by the Caucasians, basically. Yeah. And there's nothing Jake can do about that. Nothing. You can't do anything concerning relationships because they've created the system of how they create a social engineering of how men and women are thinking today they brought the division between men and women that's why relationships don't work and marriages especially in a western society is at an all-time high in divorce rates and separations women with you know single women single mothers should i say and broken homes uh, dysfunctional families or even in, uh, in terms of money there's always a glass ceiling there's only always a glass ceiling where jake can't uh, get past because at the end of the day um east or the so-called white man rules everything and you're making his money so if you're making his money, the money will always go back to him. And he basically said at the beginning of his statement that 
basically America was built by slavery. You Jakes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, you know, South American, uh, Negroes, so-called. You, you built the society and you don't get the credit for it. And he owns your land, the Native Americans, Gadites, and he's ruling you over your own land. You know what I'm saying? And he destroyed you in return. And we're, we're a peaceful people, but he's sort of so-called white man. He's a warmonger. And he likes to kill, destroy, cause violence, and spread lies and deceit and trickery, you know, to get what he wants. So that's what basically Corey Holcomb was saying. So I'm going to get in scriptures. Oh, yeah. And he also said one thing he said was that um, the only way the, the only way to change all of that is if the people in power are killed if they're overthrown and what you said was actually true that's right yeah but that's only going to happen for uh, the spirit and power of the Lord man Yahweh but let me get the scriptures Yeah, this is a prophecy on Esau, uh, starting with his elites, you know, the Rockefellers, Bilderbergs, Rothschild, you know, the Illuminati, whatever you call it, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> if you read from verse, uh, I believe verse 14, I believe, but yeah. This is verse, this is Isaiah 14, verse 21. It says, Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. Because the, the Edomites, the so called white people, the children of the wicked, they're benefiting from their forefathers, from slavery. You know, white privilege. You know, they're, they are descendants of their white fathers, so called white fathers, that have owned something and that slave money has been passed down to generations and generations. And not only that, being so-called white in the society gets you places, man. Gets you better connections. You're treated well, with respect. Because your authority is imposed all over the world. You've made yourself known by violence. And, you know, use your, wicked, your wickedness to overthrow people, countries, and to suck out resources. And also to transform transform yourself to look good, like you're like some angel. That's why all these women they want to get with white men. But really, he's the wicked one. He's the one that blow up, use bombs in your countries, sends his military in your countries and sucks the life out of them, and it becomes worse. Yeah. Yeah. He's a devil, deceiver. Yeah, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of, his, uh, of their fathers. And it says that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of a world with cities. You see? So Corey Hogan was right. Was right. And, and his concept of thought was is actually in the scriptures. Yeah? Yeah? Because what happens? The longer they continue in society, the longer, the longer they keep breeding and multiplying, what does that happen? What does that mean? That means society for them is going to keep continuing. And you, Jakes, you so called Negroes, Native Americans, Hispanics, will always continue to be oppressed. You'll always be uh, the lower class of people because they're ruling and they set the standards. They create the system for them to prosper. Yeah, They create the dollar to be. Uh, like a universal universal currency, even though it's going down because the prophecies are hitting America, the prophecies are hitting um, Great Britain, you know, the empires of, of East or the so-called white men. So they're going down, but even though they're going down, they're still on top at the moment. Yeah. So as long as they these people are alive, they'll keep ruling. You know what I'm saying?
This is Psalms 149. Uh, start from verse 5. And even uh, I showed you in the birth of a nation, Nat Turner, who was a slave revolter, who had a good mindset, but basically a wrong timing, because, and he didn't really have the fullness of the Spirit of the Lord, or he was shy, because when he had the right mindset, but it was carnal in it. No, there's a time and place for everything, but even though there's a time and place for everything, this will, will it will come eventually. And this is the what he quoted in the movie, and this is Psalms 149. I'm going to start from start from verse five, and it says, "Let the saints be joyful in." Joyful in glory, let them sing aloud upon their beds. Who's the saints? If you, if you read uh, the chapter before, Psalms 148, I believe, verse 14. We've, yeah, talks about the saints being Israel. Israel. Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises, high praises of the Most High be in their mouth. So these saints are going to praise the Lord and what? And a two-edged sword in their hand. So they're going to, the, the, the elect are going to get busy slaughtering these Edomites, these so-called white people, and the rest of these other nations that are not Israelites. And even Jakes are going to get destroyed as well. Two-thirds of our people. Because two-thirds of our people are wicked. Two-thirds of our people... Or what? Uh, uh, coons? Yep. Two thirds of our people are self destructive for our community. Two thirds of our people they join hands with the white man. Uncle Tom's coons and they want to see this society continue you know and they they don't like the Lord they reject the Lord they hate the Lord they hate the prophets so they're gonna be destroyed too verse 7 and it says to ex execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. So revenge is in the Bible, man. The God, the Most High, is a revenge, revengeful spirit, power. And eight, it says what? To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. That's their elites. Yeah, the rulers of this world, the wicked, the so-called white man, these Caucasians, so-called. Yeah, they're ruling the world. That's why the wickedness this society is where it is. It's corrupt. It's confusion. This place is Babylon. Yeah, America is Babylon the Great, man. Verse 9, it says, To execute upon them the judgment written. So this is a judgment written for them. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh. So we're going to praise the Lord while doing this. But like I said again, there's a set time and place. And we're not, we're not carnal, so... We're going to do everything through the Spirit because the Lord is going to have to return. He's going to give us that spiritual power. So we wait upon Him, as the scripture says. Yeah? And we ain't no black identity uh, extremist group. We just teach the Bible, man. We don't associate with black. Yeah, black is darkness. Black is uh, ignorance. Black is void. It's empty. Yeah? Yahweh Shai teaches us about light, uh, purity, the laws, statutes, and commandments. Righteousness, yeah. When you read the book of Revelations, it talks about the white robes, man. Yeah, purity, chaste. Yeah, so we ain't about that, man. We ain't about darkness, we're about our true identity, which is uh, which is Israel, which is we are the real Israelites, Yashra Allah, He is a prince of the power. Yeah. Yeah, we're about light, we're about truth. Yeah. 
So with that, revenge is coming, and we will get our, our rest. Praise the Lord, man. So, hope you've been edified. Hope you, you gain some faith. And with that, we say, Shalom. Amen.